Holy crap, a current year product? Hey guys, Zero here and today, got a Hobby Box, 2223, OBG Yagi, 10 cards back, 18 packs back, and any given box, a 2223 OBG, should be expecting one rare chase card, three numbered slash base retro parallels, one base red border parallel, six base blue border parallels, 18 retro cards, so every pack, four playing cards, and four OPG premier inserts. But before we get into OPG, this video is sponsored by Mirage Trading. Looking for sealed boxes yourself? Check out MirageTrading.com, featuring a tremendous selection of old and new boxes, ranging from hockey to TCGs, featuring highly competitive pricing and free shipping for orders over $175. So be sure to check out the website, check out the app. Thank you Mirage Trading for sponsoring today's video. Okay, OPG, kind of excited for this product. Current year product. OPG is typically known for having the massive 600 card base set. 100 of those being short prints and rookies. We'll get to the rookies in a moment, but there are some really welcome changes to this year's OPG, including, well, more parallels. For the base and SPs, there's a new neon pink parallel to 75. It also looks like they added a bunch of foil parallels to the all-star slash marquee rookies, including a rainbow foil to 350. <laughs> there's a rainbow foil black, which is back. I remember pulling a lot of those in like 1450. There's a green to 33. It's a foil, so it's probably gonna be different than that. And there's a one of one green gold foil so that's very welcome there also when talking about the sps this is the first product where you can actually pack pull guys like uri slavkoski shane wright andre kuzmenko wyatt Johnston. for guys that'll be in series two that being said it seems like a lot of these guys debuted fairly early on they're still missing some guys but i mean you can get guys like jake sanderson arbor jack guy david juracek's in here blue jack is first round so opg is no longer a carryover set that comes out before the start of the year so there won't be any opg in this year's series two which is welcome so there's that also i'm looking for the platinum previews i actually haven't seen what they look like yet i just seen that they're in the check and it's OPG as well. There's going to be a bunch of other unannounced stuff in here to keep an eye out for. So, also, one more quick thing OPG premieres are one and four. And there's a cool looking diamond Raymond foil board parallel to that, the 99. And there's that. Also, no autographs or jersey cards. It's a manufactured patches, so keep that in mind. But before I continue on, this box costs around $80 Canadian. So, let's get right into it. 22 23 OPG. Okay, OPG. I think retail is out as well. I'll be sure to check that out. Did get a couple of boxes. Out. But here are the packs for OPG. Foily there. Got John Tavares on the front there. Collect one base set retro variation card from every pack. Let's check out OPG. 22 223 massive base set here so here is the base that is weird okay well dimitri kulikov here is the base for 2223 opg kind of not what i was expecting it doesn't have like that old school feel to it anymore which is kind of weird still feels a little more coarse and like a flagship base card but definitely doesn't feel very old school anymore almost feels like early 90s stuff like opg premiere or something but there's a base of kulikov so massive checklist there here's the back shows kulikov's whole career there which is cool so there's that there's the base cards for 2223 opg Got jonas siegenthaler first marquee rookie mark mclaughlin there you go there's a carryover rookie mark mclaughlin interesting rookie there and also printed in italy okay got our first number card expecting three numbered cards in here but we got roman yossi all-star 20 of 100 this is a black foil there card 530 so one well, of the sp there you go yossi there you go first number card decent design there not sure what to think about the foil in there i actually wouldn't mind if it was just paper there and leave all the foil stuff to platinum but there's a cole cylinder so here's a retro nice looking retro there i don't mind that there you go retro cole cylinder nice design there quality of cards seem fine to me there's trevor moore Mitch Marner, John Marino, so that's not updated there. Oh, they're doing that. They haven't done that in the longest time, where it shows a player on one team, but they're actually on another. He's on the Devils now. He's been really good for the Devils there, but shows him on Pittsburgh, but has Devils there, so there's Peyton Krebs and Seth Jones. So I'm guessing a lot of these pictures aren't necessarily updated, but like Andre Platt there says Devils as well, but shows him on the Lightning. There's Tyler Myers, Matt Murray, Maple Leafs, but it has him on the Sens. Patrick Hornquist. Oh, Pyotr Kachetkov, marquee rookie. There you go, another carryover guy there, but Kachetkov rookie. Oh, Connor brown did it say capitals yeah it does blue border there so these are one of three packs pretty common but sharp looking card there connor brown blue border got a mark giordano retro there make sure it's not blank back but there you go uh, there's petrie sorelli and lundell i mean nice product i'm liking this price point is very solid not sure what the high-end stuff is gonna do in terms of value i'm sure if you get a numbered slavkoski you're right it'll probably do pretty well but brock mcginn matias samuelson cam talbot says senators there oh clayton keller all-star one of the sps there and oh dylan cousins red border so these are one per box there's cousins a Cole Lind retro. Okay, not a rookie. Jonas Brodeen, Brent Saad, Tyson Berry, Brent Burns. There's Hurricanes there. And Berry's on Nashville now, but there you go. Okay, continuing on here, we got Rasmus Asplin, Travis Sanheim, Milan Lucic, Max Domi. That's not updated. Brady Kachuk, All-Star, and oh, we got a printing plate. Dang. Okay, this will probably count as one of our numbered cards, but we got one-on-one -on -one printing plate of J.G. Paggio. There you go. That's Cyan. Just a yellow printing plate there, but hey, got a printing plate. J.G. Paggio, who's card number 30 in the check list there so there you go Pajo printing plate we got a carlo retro there alex turcott seth jarvis andrew dowdy i'm glad i got two boxes of this stuff i'm really enjoying this but brain shen jacob chikrin oh brand clark there you go first time you can pack pull him i'm pretty sure marquee rookie there hydra 
draft pick from 2021 OFD there. Has big time upside there. So there you go. Brent Clark, marquee rookie. I'll take that. Got a Ty Smith, blue border. Colin White retro. Still says Ottawa there, even though he's definitely on Florida Panthers. There's a Cali Yarn Croak, says Maple Leafs there. Phil Tomasino, Matt Barzell, Elvis, and Jamie Dryzik. Definitely appreciate the massive checklist. You're not just getting a bunch of stars all the time like McCarr there. You're getting guys like, well, there's a second year of William Eklund. He hasn't even played this year, I'm pretty sure. There's Kyler Yamamoto there. Mason Appleton. Zach Cassian. You get guys like him. He's on the Coyotes now, it says there. But, oh, Jack Quinn, marquee rookie. Good name to get there. He's a carryover. Looks like we got a numbered card behind him there. Retro Black Border it is. Oh, Payne Krebs, his teammate. Retro Black Border. That looks really nice there. Dang. Okay, well, 94 100 for Krebs there. I'll take that. There you go. Peyton Krebs. There's a Brian Rust retro there. Taylor Radish, Alex Nedeljkovic, and Kale McCarr. Next. <sighs> next pack up here. Lawson Krause, Sammy Blay. There's a D Boss All Star. There's a Clayton Keller Blue. Nick Bonino retro there. Bovillier, Carter Hart, William Carlson, David Perron, and. <laughs> Breath. Continuing on here, I'm pretty sure we've already gotten three numbered cards if they count the printing plate, but Mackenzie and Twistle, Jane Schwartz, Alexei Protis, second year there. All-star, Adam Pellick. Oh, playing card, Aaliyah, six of hearts. So here's the playing cards for 22-23. Got the blue on the back there. Looks pretty nice. There you go, OPG playing cards. Have a bunch of these. Never completed any sets, but there you go, Aaliyah's playing card. Got Seth Jarvis, who's been excellent as of late. There's a retro of him. That's second year there. Jonathan Dolan, Brock Besser, Connor Garland, and Chatter Stevenson. Why does Jonathan Dolan still have cards? I don't know. Okay, Turning on here. Let's see if we get something else in here. We got Scott Mayfield. I mean, we're supposed to get one hit card. Maybe it's a printing plate. We're still getting another numbered card. Pat Maroon. Noah Gregor. Oh, Almer Soderblom. Marquee rookie. So there's another one to look for right there. Brother of Harvard, the goalie for Chicago there. This guy's huge. 6'8", 246. Absolute giant there. Definitely looks to be something special for the Red Wings there. Don't know if he has massive offensive upside, but really fascinating player there. Uh, Elmer Soderblom there. So there's that. Oh, we got one of these premier. It's a rookie as well. Braden Tracy. Nice looking card there. So these are no longer like the tall boys there. There you go, Braden Tracy. I'm really liking this year's dang. Lundell there, retro. Max Comtois, Jamie Alexiak, Philip Deneau, and Claude Giroux. Says Saturday there, but shows them by the Panthers. Continuing on here, Dylan DeMello, Corey Perry. Oh, Riley Walsh, marquee rookie. There's Walsh, the defenseman, right, for the Devils there. Out of college, so there you go, Riley Walsh. There's a David Kampf, blue. There's a Philip Roos, retro marquee rookie there. There you go, there's Roos. There's Gustav Nyquist, Cutter Hellebuck, Lucas Raymond, Travis Konechny, and Nico Heischer. Okay, next pack up here. Here we got Rasmus Anderson. Oh, we got a pink. Nice. Rasmus Anderson. Jacob Vrana. Valerie Pustinen. Marquee rookie there. So there you go. There's Pustinen. Just played one NHL game this far. He's been in the AHL all year. So there you go. Pustinen in the fin there. Okay. We got a Brent Burns OPG Premier. Either one of four. And oh, there we go. Mark Stone. Who can't stay healthy. There you go. There is the pink. The neon pink. 27 of 75. Nice looking card there. Of Mark Stone. So I'll take that there. We got a Victor Arvidsson retro. A Texier, Bjorkstrand, Tavares, and Austin Matthews. Okay. Coming down to it. Ilya Samson House. Still says Capitals there. There's a Checkers 301 to 400. There's Kyle Burroughs, Scott Lawton, Timo Meyer, All Star, New Devil, Timo Meyer there. And we got a playing card, Joel Faraby, two of clubs right there. And we got a retro behind him, Seth Jones, okay, Josh Bailey, Checklist, and Jack Hughes. Okay, next pack, Jake Evans, Rasmus Kupari, oh, Eric Schalgren, Marquee Rookie, number four guy for the Leafs right now. In that. There's a Nico Dodds Blue there, okay, the Cam Talbot Retro. Yeah, pretty much all these pictures, unless it's a rookie, are from 21 22, I'm assuming there. Ricardo with Kel, Cole Perfetti, Rupe Hints, Phil, and Shane Goss' pair. There's Golden Knights there for Phil, so. Next pack up here, OPG, Malkin, Greenway, Gensel, All-Star. We got Panarin, eight of clubs, I think that's clubs. <laughs> there you go, playing card. Hey, Phil, there you go, retro. Phil Castle, I'll take that, very nice card there. There's PK, who's retired, Matt Nieto, Aaron Ekblad, Sean Couturier, and Andre Vasilevsky. So the marquee rookies are updated, but the base isn't. That's what I'm getting at here. That's probably why they have a lot of separate parallels. Logan O'Connor, Lassie Thompson, Matty Beneers, marquee rookie. There there you go. Got the Matty Beneers, Marky Rook. Probably gonna win the call there. Most likely gonna win the call there. So there you go. Matty Beneers, Marky Rookie. I'll take that. There's a Comtois Retro. Oh, that's a blank back. Dang. Look at that. I don't know if I've ever pulled a blank back, but there you go. Maxime Comtois. Blank back. These have always been very tough. I think I've had a Patrick Wall, one of these from like 2015 at one point. Bought one, but there you go. Blank back pull. Dang. It's been quite a box. We got a Mark Shifley Premier there. Got a Marco Scandella Retro. Kevin Lankinen, Arvidsson, Pajo, and Newhook. So we got three numbered cards, a printing plate. And a blank bag. Ryan Lindgren, Truba, 
Romanov, this Islanders there, Wyatt Johnston, Marky rookie, he's been really good coming into the league as a 19 year old there, shifty I guess is the way I'd describe him, tore up the OHL with Windsor there, has really good upside, so there's Wyatt Johnston, there's Huberto on Calgary, that's updated there, that's interesting, Premier, so I guess the Premiers are updated, there you go, Huberto on Calgary, there's a Peyton Krebs retro, there's Nick Ritchie, Jack Eichel, Quinton Byfield, and Lafreniere, so there's one and two from 2020, second last pack of OPG, really enjoying this, Yunus Donskoy there, Nico Daz, Nick Letty, Victor Hedman, all-star we got a blue here Corey Krug there's a Jacob Pro marquee rookie retro okay already got one blank back there's Shea Theodore Connor McMichael Connor Brown and Joe Pavelski all right file pack OPG this might be like the strongest year of OPG they've put out since like 1450 when they had a bunch of like jerseys and autos as well but there's a lot to be had in here I really enjoy this Ryan Graves Nick Dowd Trey Fix Wolanski marquee rookie there undersized skilled guy I would say for Fix Wolanski there so there you go marquee rookie of him there's a Johnny Goudreau shows flames but has jackets in the corner there playing cards a Mike McCarran Retro, OEL, Meyer, Fiala, Hoffman, Kubak. Damn, guys, there's a hobby box, 22-23, OPG Hockey. That was a pretty darn good box. Got a bunch of interesting stuff in here, including the Comtois Blank Bag. Got a Pajot Printing Plate. We got three numbered cards in there. We got several solid rookies there. So, all in all, really solid box there. Really enjoyed the product. I'm glad I got another box. I'll be definitely checking out retail. Yeah, guys, stay tuned for more bricks to come. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.